What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Coast. Just saw Rise of the Beast. Uh, gotta say, it was uh, pretty entertaining. Uh, loved the soundtrack. Loved, uh, the, I mean, the visual effects were all right. Um, honestly, the storyline treated both leaders with respect. And it sought to do both leaders justice. Uh, there were actually a, a few interactions that I found really, really interesting and really funny between uh, Optimus Primal and Optimus Prime. I liked how they uh, hinted at the they hinted at the Predacons and other factions of Transformers out there, while not exactly revealing them. They were just kind of doing their own thing. Uh, and they weren't really, uh, how do I put this? Well, Scourge seemed just kind of like an invincible douchebag hyped up by, by Unicron. They did Unicron right this time. He wasn't a freaking, he wasn't Earth. He wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't Earth. He wasn't just all of us. Oh my God. Earth has always been a transformer. Like he wasn't that. I'm pretty sure this is not, no longer in the Bayverse. Um, and th that's just the, the storyline, uh, action wise. Yeah, it was pretty hype. They had some pretty hype moments, uh, where basically Mirage and, um, the kid spoiler alert, they kind of fuse and to become, uh, what is it like? I feel like it's, um, one of those headmaster deals they were trying to incorporate into it, but it wasn't, he wasn't in the, in the robot's head, but the, I forget what, what they called it, but like, uh, I know they, they've done it before where transformers have, have like kind of used, have been used as like a mech suit for human beings. Um, and that was, that was a whole deal, but yeah, that final fight was, was really adrenaline pumping. The only, the only bad part about it was that you didn't get to see the, uh, Maximals, uh, beast modes as much, but they were, especially air razor. She was, she was a beast in, in this movie. I'm uh, uh, pun intended, but she was, she was a very good. She was just really powerful uh, in this movie. But, um, unfortunately, uh, and somewhat tragically, she had to be, um, uh, killed off, <laughs> but, she made a noble sacrifice. I'll say that scourge was, was kind of like the ultimate douchebag. <clears throat> the, the villains were just extremely hard to kill. Even Optimus Prime was like, what the hell? Why haven't you guys died yet? So and scourge has been apparently taking scalps from every faction of transformer across the, the universe um, I don't know, I don't know if in this new rebooted continuity, the Maximals and Predacons are just a faction of, of Transformers that are spread out throughout the galaxy. It, it fuses elements of Beast Wars with, uh, Transformers Armada. They mention Primus and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, hopefully the next movie is going to be like Primus versus unicron that would be so sick to see on screen it'll be like oh my god anyway i'm, I'm gonna release a, my full review later on guys but yeah transformers rise of the beast i mean i even got this freaking uh what is it like i don't know it holds popcorn and stuff <laughs> but anyway uh it's a boy coast uh i don't know i was kind of excited i just wanted to to get out and and do something and uh, see a see a really good movie. I haven't seen a good movie since I moved here, and it, it was just a, a nice refresher to to get out there, and um, and have some fun. You know, it's all work and no play. You know what they say about that. All right, it's your boy Coase, uh signing out. Peace. And uh, if you love Transformers, it's a good movie, especially the ending. The after credit scene, stay there for that. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. Stay there for that. It's really good. All right. Uh, love you all, guys. Um, take it easy. Peace out.